we are here so that we can be put an effect effect to what the devil is trying to do to us rebuke it and take it down in jesus mighty name we are here to receive to make the windows of, of heaven to open and uh, open for us and pour down a blessing for us we are here so that when you come here and pray and intercede things begin to change you intercede for your whole week you intercede for the whole month for the whole year when we come here you come here to change the atmosphere in the air in jesus mighty name we don't just come here just for the formality of doing things or just to go through songs we come here because what we speak is real what we speak is effective come on somebody show hallelujah what we declare changes things come on somebody say amen when we speak it doesn't just come from anywhere it comes from us the bible says out of your belly shall flow rivers somebody say rivers of living waters so i believe that rivers of living waters are going to flow out of you to change your atmosphere to change whatever has been stopping you in jesus mighty name somebody say amen so open with me in the book of daniel chapter 10 daniel chapter 10 let god arise his enemies be scattered let god arise his enemies be scattered let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God, let God arise. You want God to arise? Say amen. amen. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God arise, his enemies be scattered. Let God. Let go, arise. Sing it again. Let go, arise. His enemies be scattered. Let go, arise. His enemies be scattered. Let go, arise. His enemies be scattered. Let go, let go, arise. Let go, let go, arise. Mukama i muka, abalabe basa sane. Mukama i muka, abalabe basa sane. Mukama i muka, abalabe basa sane. Mukama i muka, imba. Mukama i muka, abalabe basa sane. Mukama i muka, abalabe sasane mukama imuka buri mulabe asasane muka mai muka muka mai muka oh muka mai saba muka mai mukemu makago saba muka mai mukemu sentezo saba muka mai mukemu business yo saba muka mai mukemu family yo Nsabamu kama imu kemu nyumba yo Nsabamu kama imu kemu buni mbera jo itamu Nsabamu kama imu kemu mafuta genja ulo Nsabamu kama imu kenje gede zukutuko uruwarero Nsabamu kama imu kemu li stanja badas vye chite Uruwarero mdinye la Yesu Christo Come on shout it out and say thank you Jesus Hallelujah Zikuwe ngali zamanyi za Yesu Hallelujah Daniel chapter 10 in the third year of Cyrus, king of Persia, a word was revealed to Daniel, who was named Belshazzar. And the word was true, and it was a great conflict. And he understood the word, and he under, and had understanding of the vision. In those days, I, Daniel, was mourning for three weeks. I ate no delicacies, no meat, no wine entered my mouth nor did i anoint my fell my face at all for the full three weeks on the 24th day of the first month i was standing on the bank of the great river that is the tigris i lifted up my eyes and looked and behold a man clothed in linen with a belt of fine gold from Aphras around his waist. His body was like burial. His face like the appearance of lightning. 
His eyes like flaming torches. His arms and legs like the gleam of burnished bronze. And the sound of his words like the sound of a multitude. And I, Daniel, alone saw the vision. For the men who were with me did not see the vision. But a great trembling fell upon me. And I fled to hide themselves. They fled to, to hide themselves. So I was left alone and saw this great vision. No strength was left in me. My radiant appearance was fearfully changed. And I retained no strength. Then I heard the sound of his words. And I heard the sound of his words. I fell on my face in deep sleep with my face to the ground. And behold, a hand touched me and set me trembling on my hands and knees. And he said to me, O Daniel, man greatly loved, understand the words that I speak to you and stand upright, for now I have been sent to you. When he had spoken this word to me, I stood up trembling. Then he said to me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that you set your heart to understand and humble yourself before your God, your words or your prayer have been heard. And I have come because of your words and prayer. But the prince of Persia, the prince of the kingdom of Persia, withheld me 21 days. Somebody said 21. But Michael, the one of the chief priests, came to help me. For I was left there with the king of Persia. And came to me. You understand what it is to, to happen to your people in the later days. That's what he said. For the vision is for days yet to come. Somebody said 21 days. 21 days of waiting, fasting and praying. 21 days of agony. 21 days of hopelessness. Daniel waited. We are talking about waiting on God in prayer and fasting. The discipline of prayer and fasting. That discipline where you are sure you are calling on God, you are praying to God, but you don't feel anything. You don't feel anything changing right there. And most of us, most of the time, when, you are, when we are praying and fasting, we think that the, begin, the moment you begin to pray and fast, you're going to feel chills. You're going to feel the difference. You're going to feel the victory right away. You're going to feel like angels flying around you. No, 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 no. For 21 days, Daniel, nothing was happening. But the Bible says that on the first day, he set his mind to begin to pray. God heard him. God can hear you when you decide from your mind and begin to plan and prepare. That's why he's an awesome God. That's why he's, an, uh, he's everywhere. That's why he's all powerful. That's why he's all great. That before you begin to speak, God knows what you're thinking about. God knows what you're planning. Before you begin to say anything good or bad, God knows what you're planning to do. That's why when we begin to bless God in our hearts, the Bible says, read the word of God. Meditate upon it day and night. Then you shall be blessed. You're not speaking, but you're meditating. Even as you're meditating on God's word, you are being blessed. Somebody say amen. <laughs> that scares me. What I think matters. What I plan matters. Because the Bible tells us here that as Daniel was planning, even as he was planning and thinking about prayer, the Bible says, the Almighty God, somebody said the Almighty God, had him. <laughs> 
even right now if you're having a business you're planning for if you're planning to go for an interview if you're planning to do something good to bless someone to love someone to forgive someone God is into your mind God is into your thoughts that's why when before even you say I'm gonna kick somebody it begins in your mind before you say I'm gonna give somebody a hug it begins in your mind I'm going to forgive someone. It begins in your mind. Because our God, the creator, the one who made you, the Bible says, even before you were formed in your mother's womb, he says, I knew you. Sometimes you lie down in your bed and you have evil thoughts and you think God doesn't see you. God sees you. Turn your neighbor and say, neighbor. Hmm, just laugh, say, neighbor. Hmm. You could be driving with someone in the car. You have not said to someone on Tamiye. But in your mind you're saying, oh, God is seeing you. Ha ha ha. Hallelujah. Oh, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm what is God looking? God is saying you. Huh? What did Jesus say? They came to me, to him and said, teach us about adultery. Jesus said, even before you commit the action, when you look at a woman and you begin to desire, you have already sinned. It's in your mind. The Bible says, your mind is the workshop of, speak it out, the workshop of, of the devil. How many of you went to Mango Senior or to, to schools where they have workshops? We had metal work, we had woodwork, we had electricity, we had. Do you still do that? You still there? You go to you go there, you learn. For me, I know how to, to fix an engine. I, I broke it down and I can put it back. So I was on the engine. Brother Leo said, Oh, Pastor, it seems you know about the engines. I say I do. If you, if, if you take me to Uganda and I don't have a job, I can start a garage. I can do it. I can. Yes. Praise the Lord. Now, the Bible says, your mind is the workshop of the enemy. If you give the devil your mind, the devil is going to walk into your mind and plan evil things and do dirty things. But before even, God is saying, I want to bless you. But he cannot come to bless you because your mind is full of evil things. The devil is occupying you, using you in the evil way. That's why the Bible says, we don't wrestle against flesh and blood, but against principalities. Those forces. We are fighting against them. Come on, somebody say amen. Ochimani yeah. to inzo kusonyu wamu tungo mutamani to wamu sonyu wada na janga atabuse na gamba kana kasaja dero kanga vume na kuvuma na kuambule na kolachi anti wosewe bagambe Uganda kanga kuvume kuambule nkulage akati baba kuvuma no siri kabu siri si ni na gamba ni yonu mukazata umsaja tanye gachiji ngata anzira mu. Ngagwe mubirozo wakola chi? Wamuso nyu wada. Gagono gemanya gebirozo. Mkama fieva zibwe. Gemanya agachi. Kati gori omu toina chomu gambia. Neyaba dayomba. Kale gwe. Ontamie. Gusaja gwe. Tole tamere. Okole tangalo ankalu. Ojo tamide. Mulabe. Abana toba fako. Abakazi suwe. Suwe. Suwe batuwe bayomba. Boku mzigo. Mwa America teba natandika bulunji nera tusabe bale mekutandika. Hallelujah. Kale mulabe yebanange msajja goli munafu. Tulagana na kola mulabe tonyama na kunyamba. Zina bala banganga bayomba. Twaino mpangisa. Ulinga tayomba ne bayomba. Mwa bauliza mwe mukolachi. Ne mugamba ne banange bole ko musajja. Atabu ya malanga na akuba, msajja na mtu nulila. Yo msajja nga mind yeri si. It is strong. Na amleka. Tupatu ya watetu kenokula banga atafumbi ya digo benga alu wa msajja. Suga wa nangi. Yono ya wa dayomba. 
Gama nti entalo ziri mubuongo. The Bible says, as Daniel was planning, maybe he was on the table eating, he said, Lord, I need to pray for this battle. Because Israel was being attacked. He was praying and interceding for the nation. He said, Lord, I need to pray. I need to pray, Lord, this is enough, is enough. In the due course, as he was praying and interceding, the Bible says, God heard from heaven. And right there, God answered him. Oh. Now the Bible says that as God answered him, God sent his miracle to come down. So that means we have all our miracles somewhere in Jesus' name. And the Bible says, when the angel came, remember the Bible says, when he saw the vision, he started trembling. Because the power of God is so great. He was shaking. His hands were shaking. His body was, sh he was shaking. He was in fear. And the Bible says, those who were around him ran away because the presence of God was so strong. And then the angel said to him, Daniel, I'm here. 21 days now, the battle is over. We have defeated the enemy. Your miracle and your answer is here. I've come with an answer from God. I've come to bless you. I've come to give you victory. I've come to give you a breakthrough. I've come after 21 days. The Bible says, the angel said to Daniel, Daniel, the first day God blessed you. But on my way as I was coming, the prince of Persia, the principalities. What does the Bible say in Ephesians chapter 6? We don't rest against flesh and blood, but against forces of darkness in the heavenly places. So those forces of darkness can hold your miracle. That's why when we pray and fast, we're going to kick every devil out in the name of Jesus. And we're about to receive a miracle in Jesus' mighty name. Somebody shout hallelujah. And right there, Daniel was like, wow. So which means we believers, we pray, we sing, we clap, we dance, we praise our God. We don't know what God is doing for us. We don't know the battle we are fighting. But our God is fighting our battles. Hallelujah. He says, I'll fight your battles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What we what would pass some casa yagamant yaimbo yimboro yanwani in talozangi one hour passed by two hours passed up passed by and people were singing non-stop all of a sudden somebody who was sick ngamulema nava mu congregation ngatamu sabi de na wanye zebwa yanwani rachi omani bulishimu choko le chamu kama we know why you mago we You have to surrender. You, because God looks at your mind. When you come here to pray and your mind is thinking about something else, you're missing your blessing. I know you're watching a movie and you stopped in the middle and you think about the next move. And you say, Lord, wow. I don't know how. I, I wish this, you know, I wish this plot, I wish this man gets this man. You are on the movie, and you know what the devil is like? Uh huh. You think you're in church, you think you're blessed, but I'm messing you up. Today, in the name of Jesus, we are going to surrender our minds to God, and we're going to leave this place blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. You are here. I know you went for window shopping. You're saying, Lord, where am I going to get this money? You've been maybe shopping on the internet. Maybe there's a game. Some of us is football. You say, my basketball game, Lord. I can't wait to leave church so I can go play. Some of you are golf players. Lord, I can't wait to go meet my friends and play golf. You are here. You're missing the blessing. Today, refuse the devil and say, Lord, my mind is yours in Jesus' mighty name. Come on, speak it out. Say, Lord, my mind is yours. And I give it to you. The Bible says when you meditate on God's word day and night, see how you're going to prosper. Can you imagine? You read God's word and you meditate upon it day and night. You prosper. In fact, for me, it took me a long time to learn how to pray. I used to know, I used to fast and fast, but praying was hard for me. You know what I used to do? Fast and read the word of God. Fast and read. But during that process, God bless me. 
God, God anointed me. God used me. Praise the Lord. You, you could be, you, you know, f- the Bible says that the prophet has no honor in his city. Huh? Amen. I was just in California. They just, please come back. Make a revival. Because when you go there, people honor you. They receive. You stand there, they receive it right away. They see an angel. For you, you see a Ugandan here. A fellow brother. And it's in your mind. That's how you miss the blessing. But I pray in the name of Jesus that you receive God's word today beyond me that you will be blessed. Come on, shout hallelujah. Amen. Oakland, please come back. LA, please come back. Hexter, please come back. Each one, please, a week, please, three days, please, revival, revival, revival. Praise the Lord. I went, one time I went with uh, Pastor David. I went to, uh, to, to Richmond. Because people are so expecting, they know you came with the word of God. The one who introduced me there told them this man can pray because he's an American. He came to Uganda. He found me leading young people in prayer for three months. Every night. Beginning at 10 to morning. 10 to morning. Three non-stop for three months. And he saw the power of God. So when he introduced me to Pastor Hunt, Bishop Hunt in, in Richmond, he said, this man, you need to see this young man. He's anointed. The power. So he told them, the one who's coming is anointed. So when I went there, I just stood in the, on, on the pulpit like this. And demon started crying. Because they were expecting. Somebody says, it's in your mind. If you, if you put a roadblock, huh? and you say, nze, 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 hey, First of all, you are going to be able to get out of the way. You are going to be able to get out of Then you think about the problems more than God's word. But the Bible says on the first day you set your mind to seek God. On the first day you set your mind to worship God. On the first day you set your mind to believe God's word and have faith. That's when God will begin to answer you. Amen. Hallelujah. Today, set your mind and say, Lord, uh, right now I'm thinking about your power. I'm thinking about your grace. Do you know that Jesus had so many followers? One day the Bible says Jesus was walking around with the disciples. And there's this woman who didn't, who didn't just come to walk with Jesus. But she came, she set her mind on the healing power of Jesus. The Bible says she came and touched the garment of Jesus. What happened? Right now, right there the Bible says... Power came from Jesus. But Nangi, your mind is powerful. Power came from... What, Je- what did Jesus say? Something happened to me. Hallelujah. But Nangi, what is going to draw the power of God to us? Is your mind. Is your faith. Is your belief. Hallelujah. Is your confession. You keep your mind on God's word. That's why when you have t- issues, stop confessing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in me than the devil that is in the world. The Bible says he shall supply all my needs according to his riches by Christ Jesus. You know, when you are in the health field, either you're too emotional because some of the things are going to scare you. And some of my fellow workers get excited. But they always come to me and say, but Vincent, how come for when things happen, you, you, have, you seem you have control over the situation because it begins in my mind. Hallelujah. Some people are so reactive to the situation. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Banange. 
Kubango obuongo bo obujuza kutia. Somebody say fear go in Jesus name. Obuongo obujuza kutia. Nekati gwa ino mutende keneshi gambo sha katonda. Gama ni mutende keneshi gambo sha katonda. Situation weja. Atomaraga tandika kulekana. Hallelujah. Otandika kuongela kwa kukiriza. Bikambo vya kukiriza. You begin to say. Greater is he that is in me. Than the devil in the world. Hallelujah. I'm a child of God. I'm anointed. The anointing of God breaks every yoke. You begin to attack the situation. You say right now. How am I going to do it? I'm going to pray. I'm going to fast. I'm going to wait on God. They that wait upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. I'm going to fly in this situation. I'm going to be great in this situation. I'm going to be powerful. Hallelujah. Oh, katiaba kule banga banga mnunga takaaba kubanga mugu o inensi geyobwa katonda. Come on, somebody shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Tani munafu. You are strong. You are powerful. You are anointed. You are a child of God. Heaven knows your name. What does the Bible say? Be anxious for nothing but by prayer and supplication. Be anxious for, be anxious for, what is nothing? Come on, speak it out. Be anxious for, what is nothing? Thank you. Nothing is nothing. If you try to make something out of nothing, nothing is nothing. Be anxious, be anxious for nothing. But by prayer and, uh, and supplication, because you're a child of God, put prayer into your situation. Somebody said, I'm going to pray for my situation. Because in prayer, you never confess negative. In prayer, you, you confess positive. You say, Lord, help me. Send your word. The Bible says you sent your word and it healed them. The Bible says by your stripes we are healed. The Bible says that I'm a child of God. The Bible says I am the righteousness, the righteousness of God. But the Bible says that yeah, we, a greater is he that is in me than the devil who is in the world. The Bible says we overcame the devil by the blood of Jesus and the words of our testimony. The Bible says that he has given us power to step upon scorpions and serpents and over every part of the enemy and nothing shall by any means hurt me you begin to talk the bible you begin to walk the bible you begin to confess the bible you begin to worship the bible you be hallelujah you are going to be victorious in jesus mighty name hallelujah Mbako. I'm not the workshop of your business. Amina. Lekena okuwa sitani ya kabanga. 21 days. Tandiko kuplaninga. Obulamu buo. Buo fune chizibu. Tandiko gamantimu kama. Chino kakati kamfuno musumba. Kamfuno uluganda. Jango uluganda leka tuchisabide. That's how we do it. Lekena ogenda mubantu haba gendo kumala mua amanyi. Gende li haba lokole. Haba judomo yomu tukufu. Haba sabi. Haba siba. Haba sinza katonda. Bera na haba lokole. Bera mumu. Wangula, 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 wangula. Gambandi muangu zolu alero. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The first day, somebody said the first day. Daniel was blessed. But the king of Persia was holding his miracle. Now the other secret is not giving up because he waited. Child of God, if God has called you into prayer and fasting, and right now you feel like you're giving up, Maybe you're saying, Rodi mulokole, ebiro ozobio, biteke ku Yesu, biteke kuchigamba cha katonda, lekera wakubera emotiono, emotions zote biteke kuchigamba, memory of wangu ziwafe, omoyo mtu kuvu wangu ziwafe, amafuta kuvu wangu ziwafe, henga le zamani zai Yesu Hallelujah, tulino wangu zii, orwanelo muri njira Yesu Kristo, 
Nzembola la simani gobola ba nyenzi nzembola boluare ro mlinje la Yesu Kristo. Ndaba umuntu wa sumu luluare ro. Ndaba biyenge wone bibera luluare ro. Ndaba njenge la Yesu Kristo luluare ro. Mlinje la Yesu Kristo mana wa katondo mlamu. Muleka ni la Yesu mugambe webele Yesu. Hallelujah. Amani kwa baku gamba ya kagambo kamu koka. Wiki yoyo nane yako lachi nefa. Kagambo kaji? Kubanga sisa yako ogedeko. Wolo gana yako tunuri debubi. Nia uwae. Abantu mba ina masoga. Wibu baleka. Bumuleka nebaga mozo. Neba tunula ngogo umuleka. Hello? Wali wo. Ya imu keyo kumunimu. Over I think three weeks. Nga siri na yo. It was only one issue. And then I had a very good reason. And the next day I come back. Yeke nyini yoyo nyini nyini. Bamo tuza ni mamu gamba jangu wano. Ni mamu gamba na yeo wae. Butuli suwa visi niti na avamu kuchitongo lechino. Na wali suwa omuli muguno. Ni mamu gamba. Buryo. Wayo gedena yoku tegira luwachi chintu te chako ole buwa. Ne ya dia raise na temu bossi wange ne ya te bossi ya mukwata mu owa wa guru enyo na mukwata mu na mukamba jangu ano kumanga wanga siri wanga yeye kai ruachi 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 je 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 ba di mu meeting ena cha cha na mukamba jangu ano tuola wan ne ya katyo yeye ni 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 guba kaza yari mugezi kum kuma chenyo nga nakayengi yao nakamba jangu ya gala kogeda kona awe amanyi na vade nyeze kari nga nkawuse nga ntabuse bosi na mpita na nkaza nga wae msajyo ya kwa gala konzi kutuma nisha machange ebirozo biyange bilimwe shikamo shakatona haleluya ni nomo yo mtu atendi musabano ni mkusabano oku siba kati toi za kunza nyirako msabano uruwa alero mwini nyira yesu kristo okusabano oku siba kuolimu katona tandiko kuobu wangu zi Iba debi tani so kwe panki lako. Bitani kwa huwa miyoka. In Jesus name. Hallelujah. Bawa kwe mizimu kwe jiva deji yampe kuwantu. Nkugoboru walero. Vamo kanisa. Vamo mirimu jawe. Vamo biznesi zawe. Vamo makaga awe. Vamo nyuma zawe. Vamo sanyuri awe. Oru walero nkuwangula kwe mizimu. Mulinyera Yesu Kristo. Nkuocha nomu zai kwa Yesu. Tawa na baka tonda. Come on somebody say thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Let me end with one scripture. How many of you are blessed so far? You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. You're blessed. Thank you, Mr. Neighbor. I'm blessed. Beyond measure, I'm blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. <laughs> Say, I am favored. I am anointed. Come on, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, I am blessed. I am anointed. I am favored. Hey, old water, old water, old water, Jesus Christ, but they be quick, pank it out, they begin to come out. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. Mark chapter 9, from verse 14 to 29. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Chapter 9, 14 to 29. Njagalo demu ya manyu kwa badeta saba na kusiba. Njagalo tandiko uluwari lobo wa tunaba kutandika. Njagalo ganti mukama, njagala nangi ndabengo nziramu. Banango kusaba no kusiba kugonza. Amina. Omuntu wa badengo, badengo gosi ngo kufuma abantu. Bobango sabi no siba, mazimi na kwa satu. Obocha inamanya agayomba. Obocha inamanya agerega. Okusaba kukulachi. No kusiba kukulachi. Kugonza. Gabuli unaku guo siwa muzi muvi. Buli evayo guo liyo. Nyewe wose vye no sivo gama. Nyewe waya hari. Rona isija agenda. Aga agenda siga ishi. Nemu kama nagamba wae. Nange mfunya kakisa kakulachi. Ako gila kono omuntu wange. Nyewe buli dashika muvi. Buli evayo. TV buli emu chano ya ajimanyi. Buli episode ya azikomele na nazimala yo. Buli gemu ya azimanyi zona. Mu kama nene agamba wae. Nange mfunye echi. Aka kiso ko gila kono omana wange. Ya manti amina. Ukusaba no kusiba bikolaji. Bigonza. Hello. Hoi nzo kubanga nature magelo chochi itako all the time. Nzo kubanga uli singo. Sista mbuli naku uluo mulaba. Gwe mulabi sandali. Nino usiba kono usiba. Kono noga ene wa momu chalo. No yandi wa momu fumbo. Yandi wa momu chalo wobo fumbo. Brother golaba muavu. 
Siba ko gamba wolu gana siba ko sabe. Wolu gana wina ko golaba ni yonu msajyo no we mufumbiro na ina chavamu. Anawe no msajyo mununji. Siba ko sabe katonda kurongo sendo oza yo hallelujah. Mukama jaku bikula maso. Echa magero shochi kuwati buwa. Ne mukusaba no kusiba. Katonda agenda kuangula emizimu ejikute echa magero cho in Jesus name. Let me read quickly 14. And when they came to the disciples, they saw a great crowd around them and scribes arguing them. Immediately all the crowd, when they saw him, were greatly amazed and ran up to him and greeted him. And he asked them, what are you arguing about with them? And some of them, the crowd answered him, teacher, I brought my son. Now listen to me. Teacher, I brought my son to you, for he has a spirit that makes him mute. And whenever it sizes him, it throws him down, he forms, grinds his teeth, and becomes rigid. So I asked your disciples to cast it out, and they were not able. And he answered them, O oh, faithless generation, how long am I to be with you? How long am I to bear with you? Bring him to me. Bring him to? And they brought the boy to him, and when the spirit saw him, immediately it convulsed the boy, and he fell on the ground and rolled about, foaming at the mouth. And Jesus asked his father, how long, how long has this been happening to him? And he said, from childhood. And it has often cast him into fire, into water, and to destroy him. But if you can do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said to them, to him, if you can, all things are possible. If you believe, all things are possible for one who believes. Amen. Immediately, the father of the child cried out and said, I believe. Somebody say, I believe. I believe. Help my unbelief. And when Jesus saw the crowd coming, running together, he rebuked the unclean spirit, saying to it, You mute and deaf spirit, I command you, come out of him and never enter him again. And after crying out and, conv uh, and convulsing him terribly, it came out. And the boy was like a corpse. So that most of them said, he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand, lifted him up, and he arose. And when he had entered the house, his disciples asked him privately, why could we not cast it out? And he said to them, this kind cannot be driven out but by prayer and... Now this is a scenario. They bring Jesus, they bring the child to the disciples. They prayed for the child. Nevago be mizimu. Kali, vayo. Kali, be mizimu. Eja, eja nsimbu mufeko. Nevago ba, neva saba. Nothing happened. Somebody said nothing. Akati. After a while. Somebody said after a while. Jesus met the boy. Right there. Somebody said right there. Jesus healed the boy. Now the disciple asked the boy. How come we could not do it? Jesus said, some things don't go back by prayer. Don't give up prayer and fasting. Amen. I mean, Katonda takes over. Na kuwa manye. Na kuwa huanguzi. Gamba ni muanguzi mulinye la Yesu Christo. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you blessed today? Let's rise up on our feet. We're going to worship the Lord. In Jesus name. Yeah. 